Hi, I'm Vinay Opal and I'm back. In this video, I'm going to be talking to J2023 and 2024 aspirants and I'm going to tell you why I recommend Pathfinder questions to be solved before your J advanced. So before J advanced 2022, when I uploaded a video, tha, jis mein I had put out the recommended list of questions for all the chapters from the Pathfinder book. So one of those chapters, Modern Physics, mein, I had recommended question number 14 from the Build Up Your Understanding section. And why I'm highlighting this is because the very same concept, the very same question came in J Advanced 2022. So this was a question from the Pathfinder book. Find the minimum value of the kinetic energy of the incoming alpha particles required for the reaction. And J Advanced question may be, why aya, minimum kinetic energy needed by an alpha particle to cause a nuclear reaction. The reaction alag tha, but the concept was exactly the same. So if you had solved this in the Pathfinder book, the J Advanced question was like a free question, free marks for you. Now let's be clear, I'm not saying that Jain a Pathfinder se question uthaya. Ye nahi bol main. The reason I recommend Pathfinder is because, see, this is an example of a type of question which should be taught to everybody in their usual study of uh, J preparation. But in my experience, most students are not exposed to this kind of a question, no, not exposed to this kind of a concept. Pe hai Q value is negative. So, my point here is that, see, I do not know what level of study you have had. Have you been exposed to high quality questions? Have you been exposed to such in-depth concepts? Have you been exposed to a variety of possible approaches to a given question? I don't know that. So some students of course would have encountered this question in their study. Some of them may have encountered it in one of their coaching institutes booklet. But I find that majority of the students have not experienced or have not come, a, come across such kind of question. So the point is ki if you solve these recommended list of Pathfinder questions, so I know that at least you have covered all these high quality concepts. So if this concept comes from any type of question in JEE, then you will be able to do it. So that is the point of recommending Pathfinder book because there is a lot of out of the box uh, thinking required. There are a lot of different type of questions uh, aate hai, and those are the kind of questions that are coming in JEE advanced in the past few years. So you have to be prepared for that. So in this video, I am going to be uh, making a list of questions for JEE advanced 2023 aspirants as well. J Advanced 2024 aspirants can start off Pathfinder thoda baad mein once they gain the maturity. Uh, if you are a J Advanced 2024 aspirant, you will probably be studying kinematics or just would have started laws of motion. So Pathfinder abhi rehne do, but uh, keep this list in mind, kahi, uh, save kar do ye video uh, and keep it with you for later on. For 2024, uh, I would suggest that at least once you master the, concept, the chapter of rotation, tab tak thoda maturity a jata hai and solving tough problems and getting exposed to different type of uh, uh, pro approaches and high quality concepts. So, tab thoda shuru kar sakte ho Pathfinder. Otherwise, uh, 12th standard mein jaakwe, you can start off Pathfinder. But definitely, you have to do that. So, the reason I'm making a different video for 2023 aspirants uh, as compared to 2022 is because 2022, I made it on July 15th. Ko tha. So, there were around 5-6 weeks left before J8-1. So, there was time nahi tha. So, I only kept 12 to 15 questions per chapter. The most probable questions. So uh, now it's only uh, September, just September Shuru. So you'll probably have 9-10 months before your J advanced. So that's a lot of time. The questions will seem tough, but keep at it. Immediately solution dekhne ki zarurat at least give it 2-3 to three tries. 2-3 attempts ke baad hi look for the solution. And then understand the solution properly, then solve it again and get the final answer. That's the way to approach Pathfinder. Do not get discouraged because Pathfinder is tough, but that is what J advanced expects. J Advanced is not a joke. We uh, For the last few years, we've been saying that J Advanced is a completely different exam compared to J Mains. So don't take this lightly. All the serious aspirants are doing Pathfinder and you should too. So 2023, ke liye maine extended list banaya hai. Uh, uh, probably around 25-30 problems per chapter because you have a lot of time. So you should definitely do these problems by the time your J Advanced comes. Achha, before I just uh, go to that list, another point I just wanted to highlight is that uh, hopefully 2022 aspirants who had solved my crash course kinematics DPP, a very similar question came in J advanced as well. So I hope you were able to do it. Also crash course ke, uh, lectures, theory lectures may be very similar concepts were covered. Yaan pe jase, yaan pe chart density is proportional to the radius. And uh, I have covered chart density proportional to the radius. So if, I, if you had uh, watched this crash course lecture, hopefully you would have been able to do that question very easily in J advanced. Similarly, this question was about a disk and disk potential diya gaya tha and uh, along with 
a constant force acting on the charge. So very similar to this, I had done in my crash course once more. Uh, disk ka potential batane ke baad, we had solved a question where uh, you had a constant force due to the infinite sheet or a disk uska resultant uh, motion on the charge. So resultant effect on the charge. A current kya motion hota hai, that was what was discussed in this problem. So I hope J2022 aspirants who had watched my lecture would have found these questions uh, quite easy in J advanced. So once again, um, I just wanted to highlight ki, uh, the crash course that I'm going to put out for J2023 is going to be a very detailed crash course in which uh, I will ensure that agar tumhara koi bhi concept miss ho gaya ho ya koi any loopholes in your uh, conceptual understanding ya lack of exposure to some uh, rare concepts wo sare cover ho jayenge during the crash course now when should i start the crash course is something that uh, you will need to help me with i need you to tell me tumhara syllabus approximately kab khatam hoga usually september end ya at least uh, or at max October ke second week the uh, syllabus khatam ho jata hai. So mostly I'm guessing around that time the crash course will begin. So but just tell me which chapter you're currently studying. So mujhe bhi thoda idea aajayega kitne time mein tum complete karoge crash course. So let me know. Another thing that I wanted to ask your input is originally I had thought ki crash course mein lecture ke saath ek DPP rakhunga uh, around 15 problems and then around 10-15 uh, problems from, from Pathfinder. But now on second thought, mujhe lag hai ki instead of DPP, I should just add and discuss more questions from Pathfinder itself. Because coaching institute ke materials to tum log karte ho in your uh, coaching institute wherever you are studying. Uh, kisi ka AITS bhi doge tum log, to waise type ke questions to tum log waise bhi karne hi wale. But Pathfinder ke questions aur uske solutions bhi bahut rarely available hai, not really available uh, anywhere in, a, in an organized manner. So instead of one DPP and uh, then some 10, 15 Pathfinder problems, DPP ko chhod ke, I will just, I'll give you 20, 25 Pathfinder problems uh, itself as part of the crash course homework after each uh, theory lecture with full video solutions, of course. I don't want to do both. I don't want to do DPP ke 15 question, fir, uh, 25 questions of Pathfinder. That will be too much. And I understand that time is short and Pathfinder questions are not uh, easy to solve in a, a short period of time. So I'm more inclined towards going for this option ki 20 25 pathfinder ke problems dal do with full video solutions so, but I, I would appreciate if you can comment and uh, give me your input on that so there are two options that you have jo main abhi pathfinder question list de raha hu you can uh, start solving on your own another option is to wait uh, till the crash course gets launched and then you can just uh, solve the pathfinder problems as part of the crash course homework to wo thoda organized manner mein you will have access to video solutions as well if you're not planning on enrolling for the crash course, then you can just start off uh, on your own uh, solving the Pathfinder question list that I'm about to give you.